Hey, welcome back everybody. We are still sitting at Con Kane right now in Haussteiner space, but um, we're going to move to a cold planet. I've, I've been looking around here. I think we're going to move to a colder planet to take on some next missions. We're looking at getting one more Warhammer piece. Uh, we also, we're also short uh, one Wolverine piece too, so if we can get a Wolverine even, that'll be a, a great increase to our lance. So we're going to move to a cold climate. Um, We've been working on hotter planets for quite a while now, so I'm thinking we're going to go to a colder one and hopefully get um, uh, have a better chance of picking up more salvage. So this one's got a lot of stuff on it, recreation, uh, research, uh, mining, mega city. We might get some trades here as well, former Star League presence, Comstar presence, black market. So we're going to travel to Delcor um, and hope we get something um, half decent contract wise once we arrive. So we'll check the store once we get there once again. Now, the last episode we were able to upgrade our Gauss Rifle on our Hunchback a little bit. It does a little more damage than it did before, plus 10, which is good. Um, we're having a hard time hitting with it though, so I'm not really sure what we're going to do about that. Um, we toyed around with possibly putting the uh, Clan Ultra 10 in, but it really wasn't that much of an upgrade. Um, so we'll see if we can find anything else maybe the other, the other thing too is if we can find a good uh, auto cannon 20 even um, with you know like bonus accuracy or bonus range or something like that that would be another option to replace the um, gauss rifle that's in there now it does have a shorter range but still it's a lot more damage the Argo's current budget includes a line item for a crew entertainment. So after polling the morning briefing for preferences, Darius places an order. Soon a shipment of popular new holovid ships from Delcor arrives. A mix of action, historical drama, horror, screwball comedies, and animated features. So should we circulate them amongst the crew or host a mass viewing in the mess? Eh, let's host a mass viewing and see what we get here. After s setting up the biggest holovid screen you can find in the mess, you invite the crew of the Argo to join you at a screening of the new episode of the popular drama, The Fringers. Almost everybody attends, and as the story concludes, a general contented sigh turns into a cheerful chatter as the old and new fans discuss the show. After over 150 seasons, there's still much to discuss. <laughs> 150 seasons, eh? Morale increased by one. Alright, cool. So, financial report coming in in 12 days. Um... We shouldn't have a problem making this payment unless somehow we get slaughtered on this planet. But we got lots of gear we can sell if we had to, so uh, let's have a look in the store here. Maybe we'll pick up a nice AC-20. Or not. Uh, AC-10, large laser, not a lot here. ECM Guardian. That's not bad, but we can pick that up off Max, I think. Uh, regular heat bank, no exchangers. Okay, so... Let's get right into a contract here. So we're going to open up the contracts. And once again, do our typical thing. Once this starts to load, we're going to go to the barracks and check our mech warriors out. And then we'll come back here and choose a contract. It always takes so long to load. I'm not sure why that is. But I'm not complaining because the way that the contract system works is, is actually really excellent. Alright, so let's have a quick look in the barracks while we're waiting. Let's go. There we go. Is it opening the mech wars or not? There we go. Alright, so yes, blank spares currently got nothing. We're not going to add anything on these guys. Once they reach fours across the board, we'll just leave their experience. Um, flatliner, okay, so we got a chance for gunnery or increased... What is this? Minus three indirect fire penalty, plus 75 sensor distance. Cool, so we're going to go that route, I think. And we have him keep going up the tactics line. Let's confirm Next that. Training, and ground zero, once again, we've got options for everything. I can do the same thing. Sensor distance and indirect fire penalty. But we're not using really indirect fire, so I think I'm going to rather go this route with a range increase and weapon hit potential. Confirm that. Uh, we're on our way to um, to getting Warlord here. So, uh, height, let's see what we got here. So we were talking about giving him more piloting. 10% max sprint, which is good. We're working on our way to get max, plus three max evasion, which is right here. So we're going to continue along that line and just confirm that. Uh, payroll, okay, we got enough to get this here. 
Okay, confirm. And then advanced skater. What do we got here? So we're also talking about perhaps giving more evasion to Van Skater here. Um, so I'm thinking that's what we're probably going to do. Yeah, let's go that route. Training Just confirm this. Committed. Getting that plus one max evasion is good. Okay, so let's take a look at the com contracts now in the command center. And let's see here. We want to go up to at least... So I think Sir Kinnis Federation right now is at war with um, House Merrick. Um, we want to do at least a three and a half, maybe a three, if we can find the right miss mission here. Lost air? Don't think so. Supply lines? Not enough salvage. Forward observers? Uh. So I'm thinking we're going to have to go back down to the three and a half skulls, and I think lost contact... Um, it's a recovery mission. So it's attacking a facility um, or hostile insertion. I'm liking the fact that this is 5 of 22 salvage. So let's go this route. I'm going to do lost contact and get into the recovery mission. Chances we're going to be facing a couple of lances, probably staggered. So let's negotiate this and we're going to go full salvage. And lances, we're going to pull payroll out now bring Height back in, now that he's not injured anymore, and we're going to deploy and see what we can do here. Okay, colder environment, nice. Alright, so, looks like we got to go up and over this mountain here. We're going to pick up the, uh, whatever it is they stole from that warehouse, and move out. So we're going to, we have to go up this road here, and then into here. So, let's just do that. Now I'm not going to reserve this one. Who's up front here? So let's get height in the blackjack moving first. Get up that road. We're just going to push it straight up. Um, who's next here? I think Fane Skater, the Hunchback's slower. So let's get Flatliner going. Going to bring the slowest mech up last so at least the rest of us are uh, ahead here. Yeah, so I think the Hunchback's the slowest. We'll bring it in last. Now, do we pick up? We've got a sensor trace already. Okay, cool. And that's because Flatliner's got Tactic 7, so we spotted him already. 50-tonner. Okay, not bad. So, we're going to get up here as far as we can. Oh, wrong guy here. Uh, height. I should change those two around in the order there. Getting confused between the two of them. So let's bring them up to right here, I guess. Affirmative, Commander. Let's see what we got here. So we got three mechs. Don't know what these guys are. That's a 50. So once Flatliner comes up, we'll probably be able to know what they are. Yes, Commander. So let's bring them up straight along the road. Going full throttle. Let's have a quick look here if we can see. Yeah, 45 and 50. So that's, not, that's okay. I'm not worried. Um, Ready for orders. Doesn't look like there's... Got it. Two, there's like two 50s and a 45, so there's no uh, Wolverine, unfortunately. Yeah, but I'm sure yeah. there's another Lance up there somewhere. You want fast? Let's get up here. I can give you fast. Okay, now, we got to be careful here. If we pull up on here, we're going to be targets for everybody. So, even anybody moving up back here. So I'm going to see if I can pull them up the road here and get them into a kill zone. Unlikely, but we'll see what we can do here. So, I'm your spaniel. let's bring Flatliner around. We're going to have another turn. We could open up on them already, but I'm not going to do that. Let's get ourselves up in here into the trees, and then we'll figure out next turn what we're going to do. Alright, this guy's coming over. Right, They're just walking it up. They're not going to commit themselves. I don't blame them. Okay, we're going to brace in here. He's in sprinting distance, so he can get in right on these guys now. Alright. We want to make sure all of our guys will be able to, to engage in combat when we move. So, we want to make sure we're all up here. I don't want to leave anybody behind. And they're not really doing much. So Okay, so it looks like we're all going to be able to crest this hill and attack next turn. Okay. 
So he's going a turn ahead of everybody else. 45 tonner. So... I wonder if he's got some kind of special cockpit. What are your orders, Skipper? Well, let's go find out what he is. Let's move right into here. Um, we're going to sprint it in. Since he, that guy's already gone, he can't attack us from behind. So this is a butcher. Ah, yes, that's what we want. He's got the uh, command console in his cockpit. Or something along that line. Gives him plus one initiative. So let's um, melt this trebuchet. Now let's see how you handle this. Yeah, so he's shut down. Not doing anything. Head hit, nice. Having a second trebuchet might be an advantage for us too. I'm not sure yet. I don't know who I would pull out though. Okay, let's get Vanskater up. I want to do some pinpoint damage on somebody over here. So I'm thinking, I'm going to move right into here. That guy over there hasn't moved yet. But uh, we'll move up here. We're going to shoot the trebuchet. And let's attempt... He's got a PPC and an AC-5 and an SRM-2. So, um, he is... has no evasion? Is that correct? That is correct. So let's do an offensive push on this guy and see if we can blow his leg off here. I'm going to fire everything. Take that leg. There we go. So leg gone. He's already taken one pilot hit. And this will be a second hit. Okay. So second trebuchet. So let's try and maximize trebuchet parts on this. Maybe we can pick up another one. Okay. So flatliner will go after. Let's move ground zero up. We're going to sprint up. Oh, I'm not in range anywhere here. I'm over here though. Okay, we're going to sprint up. And I think I'll use one PPC on the trebuchet. How much has he got left here? Eight. And in the center torso. So it's not enough to kill. Let's try and take that torso and finish him out. There we go. Nice. So that's that's, that's that guy kill. gone. Um, so Flatliner is going to move forward. Going to sprint it up. We're going to unload the missiles on to the yeah. other trebuchet over here. Try to make him a little unsteady. Uh, we're going to fire everything since we're heat neutral. Okay. Make him consider his life choices. So let's see what this butcher does. Oh, he's going to melee. Or is he? Nope. Backstabber. My mech is overheating. It sure is. Ready to rock. That's okay. We're going to teach this guy a lesson. Alright, let's move. You don't attack our friends, buddy. Alright, everything from behind. Here we go. Let's hope they all hit. I want to shut them down. Yep, there we go. So now we got free shots on this guy. So we just have to decide what we want to do with this guy. Firing his SRMs, not getting anything. Okay, I think I want to leg this guy. So we're going to move back here. Just going to walk it back. And I'm going to unload with two PPCs. We're going to shoot on this guy's side. And we're going to try for the leg. Now the leg's got... Yeah, we should be able to take that leg out. So let's fire those. There it is. There's a knockdown. Okay, yeah, we're not going to get this guy by injuries. So let's move back here. And we're just going to go with enough like this, I think. Going to go after this other leg. Leg him, leg him, leg him. Nope. Did we hit the leg, though? That's the question. We did. We got it with the Gauss rifle. Okay, good. So, Flatliner, Standing just by. step back here. On my way. And this guy, when, even when he gets up next time, all he can do is get up. So, we just need 35. So, let's target the leg. Leaving the LRMs off. We'll just go with um, the three lasers. There we go. Legged him. So now we should be able to salvage that uh, head component. 
actually getting that bonus initiative probably in either the blackjack or uh, this better not be it either in the blackjack or in um, the uh, vindicator I think is probably the way to go here so let's get him down here Roger, Skipper. Taking it. and I've got what I want now out of the other guy so we're just gonna blow this guy up minimize the loot table I think for randomness 45 heat not bad uh, let's walk it over can we see him? We can see it from here. Position confirmed. And we're just going to fire randomly. You don't need to pinpoint him. Mm, no. We're going to pinpoint his head. See if we can take his head off. Nope. But we killed him anyway. Enemy down. All right. Let's move forward. I'm receiving you. It's so much better to be in he I'll heat. Like lack of heat environments like this. Oh my god. Not having to worry so much. You get overheated in the next turn, it's like, eh, I can still fire almost all my weapons, sure. Excellent, okay. Let's see if we can get height into the box here. Nope, almost though. I'm wondering if uh, that's it. I wonder if they'll have a second set of like reserves or something. Yes, uh, Let's move ground zero first. Oh yeah, we're still up on the hill, right? Right. down now though all right um, because we don't know what's happening yet we're just gonna park in the trees here and we'll brace okay next turn let's get height into the square and brace ready main skater brace flatliner brace Ground zero, just sprint down into the trees. Double time. Like I said, since we don't know if there's reinforcements happening or not. What the? Is he not in the... Oh, he's just Ready outside. Are you serious? Oh my god. Alright, we're okay. just going to reserve back to zero and done. The asset is in hand. Well, that was easy. That was a two and a half skull, and it was only three medium X. I don't even understand that. And then you can pull another two and a half skull, and it's like three heavies and a demolisher two and three mediums. It's crazy. All right, well, we made 11,000. Gonna get lots of salvage. Took a little bit of a hit in the back here. No components damaged though, so we're okay. It'll probably cost us 11,000 to repair. So we got tons of butcher parts, a bunch of uh, trebuchet parts. We don't really have any trebs yet, I don't think. Um, we might have a different variant, but uh, let's see what else we got here. SM2, no. So, where is that? There's a light engine. Gyro. Did we? Was there not a command center or something in that guy? Am I just not seeing it? Case two. Um, I guess not. Maybe it's built into the mech. I bet you that's it. That's, that's probably it. It's built right into the mech. So we're going to take those. Uh, I'm not going to take the defense gyro. We still have got ferro and endo steel, so I'm not taking any of those unless we have to. SRM 6 plus 2 damage. Mm. Yeah, maybe we will just take ferro could take case two though and the gyro is always good as well there's nothing else down here inferno ammo for the SRMs we don't really need that um, yeah we'll go this route the fusion cores we can sell it's nice to have those two fifty two two fifties okay let's confirm this so we get one two three four five butcher parts one two three four trebuchet parts okay nice we got the SRM anyway Heat sink. Ah, we did okay. Fifteen million. That mech you wanted is back online. Um. Does the butcher count as? Does it count as a uh, vindicator? I'm wondering if the vindicator parts we had 
put this guy together because I don't remember getting butcher parts before. Well, that's actually really good. We lost a little bit of money on the repairs, but I don't really care. We got a butcher, man. That's awesome. Okay, let's quickly go to the mech bay here and check this out. That's like a full shock here. So I was going to do another mission, but I think we're going to work on rebuilding this guy. So it, its quirk is improved initiative. I thought it was something to do with the command with the uh, with the command console or something, but that improved initiative is even better. Look, we got another light engine and fusion core. So let's just repair this. What do we pick up? Ferrofibrous cockpit plus two injury fusion core light engine. Nice. And this is about the same as the Vindicator, so. I'm wondering if we just switch everything from the Vindicator over to here. Let's confirm this. We're just going to repair this first. The other thing we can do is we can build a different type of mech using this chassis. And depending on what we do, we can we can bring in or take out the Blackjack. If we go to higher ones, we want to, like higher level ones, we want to crowd control. Or if we just want to kill, we can bring in... Yeah, so it does, I guess it does count as a Vindicator. Damn, that's awesome. All right, let's repair our max. Um, but first, we're going to go to the store, so I don't forget that um, that um, financial reports coming up. So we're going to sell those two engines real quick. Okay, that's it. That's pretty incredible. Now, granted, it's only a 45-ton mech, but the Butcher, um, in this version of um, Rogue Tech, you can choose it as your starting mech, and I've done it a few times, and it's it's a pretty damn good starting mech, i got to say. Like, it's very versatile. So, let's go down to... Where are the engines here? Did I pass them all? I did. Because, dur. So we're going to sell, we, how, how big are these ones? These are the plus one slot engines. So we're going to sell these for now because we don't, we're not, we don't have mechs heavy enough to use them yet. So I'm going to sell that and I'm going to sell one of these guys. And we've got an extra 225, so let's sell one of those. Keep all the other ones. We've got two light engines now. Okay, cool. Or two light, yeah. So that's good. We've got 800,000, so we're good. So let's wait. Um until that butcher comes back because I want well that's going to be after the financial report so let's whip in and do another quick mission really quick um, let's choose choose something really fast and do another mission we did we pulled off a whole other mission but unfortunately I'm not going to show it to you only because when recording the video a lot of my audio went completely out of sync and I had to kind of go through and try and resync everything for some reason it was here or there thought maybe first it was a drop frame non drop frame issue but it wasn't so I have no idea what happened in the recording so I'm just going to gloss right or glaze over right to the end and I'm just going to show you what we got off the loot table um, because there was some pretty good stuff the battle overall really wasn't that difficult um, we were facing a bunch of mechs and a couple of vehicles uh, we did end up getting a few Mac parts, which was good, and a couple of other components, which were really good. So, yeah, I'm just going to gloss over everything, go right to the end, and now you'll be able to see what we picked up in the loot table. So, a lot of blackjack, well, a couple blackjack pieces, a lot of quick draw pieces, hunchback, vindicator, so not a lot of Mac parts. Okay, so, we want to see if those LRMs survived. They did. Yes. Two clan LRMs, awesome. Okay, so, anything else down here? AMS, Heavy Pharaoh. TC cockpit, triple XL engine. Oh God, this is so good. Look at this. Three point seven million for the engine, and this is six point two five million. That's like eight hundred thousand in total if we sell it. Double heat sinks, Artemis system. Ah. Uh, Nope, we're going to go all the way back up and we're going to take the money because we want to start, I want to start upgrading the uh, Argo a little bit more and that's going to help out. So we're going to do that. Um, as much as I'd like to take the other stuff, let's hope we get some good stuff out of this. Let's confirm it and see what we get. 
So three quick draw parts. Okay, that's good. That's better than I thought we'd get. PPZ, we can sell that. Uh, SRM's not bad. And, well, we've got the cockpit. TC cockpit, excellent. So let's continue. 18,000. Okay, we, we made money on this one. Okay, I'm going to end the episode right here. And when we come back next time, we'll go through the financial report, sell some stuff, and get our butcher back up and running here. Um, we've got a lot of great stuff. Uh, that we can use to get the breacher. We got the two LRMs that are going to go in the trebuchet, which means we can up weapon this guy. Um, yeah, so I'll uh, end it here and I'll see you again next time.